Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about this animation that you're looking at. I tried to come up with a way to help you understand the three major modal problems in small rooms because this is the arena we work in. We work in small rooms. So we're going to have axial, tangential, and oblique modes in these rooms. Now what, what are they? Well axial we all know is between two parallel walls. So it could be two side walls, could be a front and rear wall, could be floor to ceiling. So there's our, our axial definition. And the axial modes are the strongest. They're the strongest of the three. They're almost twice as strong as tangential, which is the next strongest and almost four times as strong as the oblique modes in our room. So anytime you're sitting in your room and listening, and you don't like the low-end performance of your room, it's probably an axial modal issue between two parallel walls, okay? So you can see the character in the animation is taking our carbon hammer, I thought you'd like that one, and pounding down the axial modes. And then notice the frequency response curve as he does it. Because axial modes have a direct impact on that big peak that we all have in our rooms below 100 cycles. Looks like a mountain. And then it goes like a mountain and then after 100 it starts to dip and then goes back up again above baseline. And that's just the standard response curve in small rooms unless we have really long dimensions, 30, 40 feet. And who has that today? Nobody. So we're always going to have this peak and these dips, okay? The axial modes are causing the peak. So as our animated character strikes these axial modes and you observe the frequency response going down, okay, that's what we want. We want to attenuate. We want to absorb them. Now how do we do that? We know from past videos that we have three types of treatment, okay? We have Hemholtz, good German name. We have membrane and we have diaphragmatic, okay? Hemholtz is very frequency specific, great technology, but very frequency specific, very hard to build. So if you analyzed your room and you knew that you had a 43 cycle problem, you could design a Hemholtz resonator to deal with just 43 cycles. It would take some doing, but I could help you do it. I've done it many, many times. That's the good thing. The bad thing is you need a lot of them because they're very limited in how much they absorb. It's not difficult to design something to go down to 30, 40 cycles. Well, 30 is a problem, but 40 cycles, it's not difficult to design a sound absorbing technology that, that will capture 40 cycle energy. What's the difficult part is to capture a lot of 40 cycle energy in a small space. That's the key, and that's why we use diaphragmatic. So we have Hemholtz, and then membrane is similar to diaphragmatic without the density and the rigidity. So once again, has the same level of performance as diaphragmatic, but not the rate, doesn't get as much. It's also light, lighter weight, okay? We use diaphragmatic because we're all about performance. Did I spell that right? I did. We're all about performance. So we want to get as much low frequency energy as we can per square foot of unit. Why? Because you, you want less units. You don't want to have to buy a lot of units. We have the most powerful low frequency absorption created and our ACDA units attenuate about 1.5 dB for every 12 square feet. So if you got a 13, 14, 15 dB problem, take your problem, 15 dB divided by 1.5. That tells you how many units you need. Most rooms, 8 to 12, somewhere in that area. So, let's take a look at the axial modes again, because it's important that you kind of understand the relationship here. And I want to focus mainly on the axial, because they're the most powerful. So let's take a room that's 13 wide, 8 foot high, 17 foot long. Common dimensions I see every day. So, at 33 hertz, the problems front wall to rear wall, the axial modal issues. We'll do another video on how I got this, but let's just take my word for it in this video. At 43 cycles, side wall to side wall. So at 33 cycles, longer energy, 
front wall to rear wall. At 43 cycles, the axial modal issues are side wall to side wall. At 66, front wall to rear wall. At 70, floor to ceiling. Okay, at 86 cycles, side wall to side wall. So every room dimension has axial modal issues, but they're at different places in the room. And you can see by this example, the locations. So how do we treat? Well, we apply diaphragmatic Helmholtz or membrane to treat these problems. We like diaphragmatic because these are big problems. You need big horsepower in your technology to solve them. So as our animated character is striking the axle modes, you notice the peak is going down below 100 cycles. So that's good. And then as he strikes the tangential, the dips start to go up. So the response starts to smooth. And that's the issue because the tangential modes are the harmonics of the axial modal problems. So they work together. So you have to always treat the low frequency pressure in your room first. I constantly tell people that. People like to do it backwards. They like to do the mids and the highs. They like to do diffusion. You can't. You got to treat the highest and biggest problem first because this causes issues in everything else that you do. If you don't get the low end right in your room, you'll never be happy. So the bottom line here is treat the low frequency energy in the room and you'll be in good shape. It'll be a great start. Then the other things where the response curve is smaller, we'll be able to deal with that later. So enjoy the animation. It took my guys, a, I think, two months to build that. So send in your comments. Let us know what you think. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.